In this video, I'll show you how to use Buzz to automatically create subtitles for your videos for free on Mac, Windows and Linux. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, this is Buzz. Buzz is a free application that is based on OpenAI's Whisper speech recognition. It is really awesome and it has the option to automatically transcribe audio from over 100 languages into text subtitles that is SRT or VTT. Now to automatically create subtitles for a video we'll need to go to file, import audio, click on that but from this section you can import audio or videos. So I'll just navigate to the folder that I want to uh, get the uh, video from so you'll only see an audio now, right now but if you click on this drop down you'll see videos as well and mp4, webm and OGM are supported at the time of recording this video. If I click on the videos, we'll now see the video available. Now I have this video, I'll click on it and click on open. And we'll now get a new dialog box with our, our video file right here. That is the title of the video file. And the task is to transcribe. You can also translate from, let's say, a different language into English only at the time of this recording because Whisper only supports translating at the time of this recording from other languages into English. So we want to transcribe and you can do a language detect but since I know the video is in English, press on E, click on English and then what quality do you want? Low, medium or high? I'll go for high because it's a short video and it doesn't take a long time to actually automatically uh, create the subtitles. So I'll click on high and then export as text SRT or VTT. Now SRT subtitles and VTT subtitles look kind of identical, just a few uh, differences here and there. But let's do SRT subtitles, click on that and then click on run. Now once you click on run it's going to prompt you to save the file. Now by default it goes back to the folder with your video file which is really really awesome. And then let's click on save. It's going to begin the process. There we go. Processing and it uh, gives you the percentage and once it begins it's going to let you know how much time is remaining. So a minute remaining for a four minute video. This is really awesome and can save you a lot of time especially when it comes uh, to uh, subtitling videos etc. Now Whisper AI has really good speech recognition and uh, English is not the first language to me and I find that the quality of the transcripts produced and the subtitles is really, really awesome. The only downside to using Whisper for subtitles is that it doesn't do good segmentation of the subtitles. It more or less results in blocks, uh, but it would be awesome if uh, the creator of Buzz can actually uh, allow us to like set limits, like let's say between uh, like 37 characters per line, uh, the number of lines per subtitle block, uh, that would be really awesome and would help even speed up subtitling processes, especially for audio files that have really, really good audio uh, that can be easily run through uh, Whisper uh, and to create subtitles fast. But let's just give it a couple of seconds and it's almost done. And once it's done, we are going to just play the video, a short video for us to listen through and see if what I'm saying in the video is what has been picked up. So. Uh, seven seconds remaining and we are almost there. 98%. So if I feel that it's doing a really good job. So this is the SRT subtitle uh, characterized by a number, time code, uh, the subtitle text and then a space, a number and so on and so forth. Now let's go to a folder with a video, this particular folder and if I just double click on this video it's going to open up in VLC Media Player. Pause in this it. video. I'll pause it a little bit. And you can already see that the subtitle file it has been added automatically. The reason for that is because the titling or the title of this particular subtitle is kind of identical to that of the video. And VLC will automatically pick that up and just render this. So what we're going to do now, let's just go back a little bit. Let's play. In this video, I'll show you how to use the audio ducking feature in Filmora 11. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, 
the audio ducking feature is useful, especially when you're working with video that has voiceover narration and music. The reason is you may want the music lowered a little bit without you having to adjust or use manual keyframes, but automatically by audio ducking. That is, you emphasize the voiceover and the music is ducked down so that people can hear what is going on. Now, it's pretty simple. Now, from just that simple assessment, we have quality transcript and quality subtitles. Now, for quality subtitles, not so much because this text is so much for people to read. And therefore, that's why I'm saying I wish it's easier for uh, the speech recognition engine, Whisper, uh, because I've tested it even on subtitle edit, and I can almost guarantee you it's the speech uh, engine uh, that is Whisper that is doing all this. But uh, for the creator of Buzz, probably they can incorporate like extra features for us to manually add like we need like 37 characters per per line and we can also change and give like two uh, two lines uh, maximum uh, without and maybe a number one two lines three lines four lines but two is always a sweet spot but if you also want one line that would be awesome so but what we can easily uh, preview from this is that the subtitling is really done well the transcription is done well uh, only that the text is just too much on screen for somebody to appreciate uh, what's going on and the readability, the movement of your head from end to end. That is the only issue I find with this. Now, that is my simple video on how to use Buzz. And uh, basically, this is Buzz. Uh, you can just go to this particular website, links in the description. It's uh, Buzz transcribes and translates audio offline on your personal computer. It's powered by OpenAI's Whisper. Uh, so you can see it's available for Mac, Windows, Linux, and I can just right click on this, open link in new tab, and it's available. Uh, you can download it from this section if you're on Windows, uh, Linux, or Mac. But it's really, really awesome that you can do this uh, for free, create subtitles first. I wish somebody comes up uh, with an implementation of how to limit the characters per line and maybe other special features like uh, when not to like do a divide of the text, maybe when there's a name, etc. and all those things. But simply put, that's how you can use Buzz to automatically generate or create subtitles for your videos for free on Mac, Windows and Linux. Thanks so much for watching this video. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thanks for watching.